So far, lesson 4.6, we have graphed three sections of the Cartesian plane. You'll notice that there are four sections in this graph. Your 0, 0 in the official Cartesian plane is in the center. 6, 1, we learned to go 6, which is 6 forward, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 1 up. Again, that puts us in the upper right portion of this, which we call quadrant 1. I'm not really going to worry so much about that. We then did 4, negative 3 on the second day that we dealt with the Cartesian plane. Again, the 4 meant go forward 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. But then the negative 3 meant don't go up 3, because notice that's positive. You want to go down to negative 3, so you go 1, 2, 3, which is right there. All right. The third section we saw was yesterday. And in that section, we did not start out going forward. We actually start out going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 backwards, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 up, which puts us there. So, so far, we have seen this section, this section, and that section, which means today we are going to look at the types of values that will be a negative x value and a negative y value because that's the only way you get to this section here notice that would be backwards and down so today we're going to throw those in as we kind of go through a couple examples and then make sure you're ready to go before we get ready to take our test tomorrow again don't forget your test tomorrow must be done tomorrow by midnight your test tomorrow must be done tomorrow by midnight or it sits as a zero for your last grade of the quarter so make sure you're ready for that um, graph the point negative 5, negative 2. Again, the negative 5 means go 5 backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the negative 2 means go 2 down. 1, 2, which puts me right there. If you're doing this on paper, 5 back, 2 down. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2. That's where you would be. Again, focusing only on that fourth section because you've seen all the other ones. Negative 6, negative 4 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 1, 2, 3, 4, which puts me right there. Negative 4, negative 1. Again, negative 4 means go 4 backwards. Negative 1 means go 1 down. All those are the types of points that you're going to add to what you've experienced so far. And again, hopefully you're starting to see as you're looking at this that it should not be that bad of a test because this is really all it's about. You're going to see this and you're going to see a negative positive number line. That should be good. So again, if you're going to identify the point, now is where you have to be careful. So as I look, I'm going 1, 2, sorry, 3, 4, 5 over. and one two three four down again four down means negative four and that is the adjustment I have to make I don't know if the number is going to be negative I just know I need to be ready if the number does go negative and that is the key for today's work so again looking at this one the first thing I notice starting at zero is that I must go backwards one two three four so I would just put the negative four in the box once I recognize that then I would come back from negative four and go one two three four five six again six down which puts me at negative six this is a very important skill I've been teaching algebra for 19 years and I have seen many people who don't know how to do this so if you can kinda of get this down it does help you to get ahead or stay ahead in terms of all the stuff that's going on. This point here, first thing I have to do is go backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, it's hard to write with an angle on this pen because it's not really made to do that. But anyway, six backwards again is negative six. And then from there I have to go down two, which would be negative two. This one here, I have to go backwards one, two, three, four, but I'm going up now, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, and because I went up six, again, it should be a positive six. Do not forget to use these numbers as your guide. Notice I'm with the positives here, so my number should be positive. 
Notice I'm with the negatives here, so my number should be negative. Notice I went backwards, so I should be with the negatives. Uh, in this one here, I went forward, so my first number should be positive. Use everything you can to kind of keep your bearings in terms of what's going on, because really it just comes down to whether or not... I think the counting exercise should be easy. I think the hardest thing for you is going to be the sign, but again, use the pictures or use the, the labels in the graph to kind of help you do that. This does represent the end of information that you need to know for this or for your assessment tomorrow. Be sure to work hard on your homework. Here is what you need to know for the best part. The questions on this assignment are the same as the questions on your test. So if you can work to understand the homework, then you should be able to do well on the test. We are not trying to trick you on this thing. We just want to make sure you can show us what you know. So again, last reminder, as you've heard it about six times or 17 times maybe by now, your test must be done by tomorrow at midnight. So do not mess around with this thing. Make sure you log into Canvas tomorrow. Get in there, do your test, and get it over with. Um, keep working hard. Ask for assistance when you need it. And congratulations on reaching the end of the first quarter. I know it might have been a tough first quarter because of all the stuff going on. But again, that, that's still major that you made it this far. Um, hopefully you learned something, whether it was, you know, that this isn't so bad or hopefully that you learned that you will have to work or whatever it does take for you to work starting the second quarter. But again, congratulations and good luck.